Hello there, everyone. Happy Saturday. <laughs> hope you're doing okay. Hello there, AB. Hi, Scotty. Hope you're doing all right. Yeah, Scotty, how did your job interviews go, by the way? You were you're hopefully not putting you on the spot by asking here, but I meant to ask you and forgot, so sorry about that. But um, hopefully they went well. Um, yes, hi, AB. Yes, um, hello, everyone. Yes, so another another live review. Now, basically, I know you might have been expecting an LD special today, but um, long story short is I couldn't get to it. <laughs> it wasn't my fault this time. I got there and uh, it wasn't open. Um, yeah, so there we go. But never mind. So I've pushed it back a couple of weeks. Hopefully I'll be able to get there at some point. Now, um, so I went to Lidl instead, basically. Um, so it's, you know, next best thing, same thing, same difference. Um, hi, Lee, how are you doing? Good to see you, good you make it, by the way. Good you could make it. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for the comments, by the way, recently. It's been good to chat to you. Um, yeah, so basically got some Lidl stuff, and I'll get, I might have to split this up into about three different parts, actually. I didn't get everything that Lidl do, um, but I got a good a good amount. So, you know, there's, there's tons of stuff there, as you know, and they do their own versions of various things. So they do their own sort of Snickers bars, Mars bars, Twixes, Kit Kats, um, Aerie type things, just regular chocolate. Now it's not branded Lidl, but it's sort of like a another brand. You know, I think Mr. Choc and Finn Carre or something like that. So basically, it seems to be the two, um, yeah, the two brands as such. Um, so I'm just moving my keyboard out of the way. I forgot to move that. So yeah, so basically, I'll uh, be kind of just reviewing those really. So not reviewing the shop. <laughs> Obviously, I'm sure the shop's great, but uh, well, I don't normally go to um, Lidl. Basically, long story short is it's just not quite my local supermarket. Um, so I could get there, of course. You know, it's one of those really. But I know lots of people doing lots of. They've got seem to have quite good value for money on things as well, actually. But um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm quite particular, so I need to sort of um, you know, if I if I get a certain thing, I have to get a certain thing. And if it's you know, if I'm used to a certain supermarket, then I'll just basically go there really. So there we are. But yeah, so there we go. So I've got plenty of stuff for you. So as I say, I might have to split this up into three different parts. I think, and there still won't be. A, a comprehensive uh, review of everything that um, Lidl do. <laughs> I mean, it's basically under the sweets as well. But yes, yeah, so hi Andrew, I hope you're doing okay. Yeah, have, have a lovely Saturday. Yeah, I did a massive, um, massive, massive um, recce recon scout um, as well. So I've got tons of new stuff. So in Stash Watch this week, I'll publish all that there as well. Um, probably put the other stuff. I've done a, I got, went to Morrison's as well, so I've got some Morrison's own brand stuff. So I'll probably do a Morrison's review as well. But I think there's, um, well, there's tons of stuff there as well, but I've got enough just for one review there, I think. So, but Lidl, I kind of went a bit overboard. I think it'll be the same with Aldi as well when I do eventually get there. Hopefully I will at some point, but apologies for keeping putting that one off. It's just stuff's conspiring against me, really, with that one. Um, but yeah, hope everyone's doing all right. Anyway, as I say, good to see you all. But um, weather today is mixed, I think is the uh, best way to say it. <laughs> It's been better, let's put it that way. Um, yeah, so as I say, there's three different um, categories, sorts of categories, I think you'd say. Got the, um, basically got, I don't want to show you or not, well, I might just bring it as a surprise. Basically got sort of like the, their equivalents of the Big Taste bars or the Max bars, if you're a Milka fan. Um, they've done about four of those, so I'm thinking maybe one review, one session of those. They've done like their various versions of Aero, so they've got about four different sort of Aero type bars, or big bars. Um, and a couple of other things as well, so I think I might just put them into one part as well. And the other part is their kind of versions of, well, a couple of chocolate bars, um, sort of like milk chocolate. They do have, there's, there's loads, as I said, there's loads. Um, but also their sort of marathons, marathon Snickers, <laughs> marathons if you're old enough, um, Twixes and Mars versions as well. Um, yeah, so I thought maybe I'll do those today, really. Um, yeah, so and why not? And why not? Um, so which one should we start with? Now, let's, um, let's start with... Let's start these ones, shall we? Yeah, so... <laughs> little cappuccino bar. Well, AB, typically, I didn't find that one. <laughs> I mean, I looked at it. I did have a good look, though. I couldn't see that one, actually. So I did get one that was quite nice that they did. Um, it's a white chocolate um, and strawberry one, I think it was. Yeah, but I couldn't see a cappuccino one, unfortunately. Um, so that's a bit of a shame. Yeah, so, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll have another try and I'll eventually get back to Aldi. I'll nip in again, see if I can see it. But um, we'll see. I've still got plenty of time. There's but bur bur Further, um, as I say, additions to this that I'll do, and I might spread them out over a few weeks, not just do one week after the other. So we'll see. So yeah, so I could get back in there. So yeah, if I do miss anything else, or you do have suggestions, um, let me know. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can uh, perhaps pick them up in the meantime. So yeah, so we'll see. Obviously, there's so much chocolate to get. I mean, it's ridiculous now. My stash was ridiculous before, um, and just in the past two weeks, I've literally... Uh, well, I, you know, the percentages might seem quite small, actually, but I've increased it dr dramatically. <laughs> and I just and I just don't know if I can get all this review. I really don't. But we'll see. You know, it's a good problem to have. But as I say, I bought yesterday, I must have got about at least 40 more bars of chocolate in one way or another. 40, and I'm not exaggerating. Well, just here with this little stuff, 
I've got about 12, 13. So, you know, yeah, and I got about six from Morrison's and then a few other things. So, yeah, I got ridiculous amounts of stuff. So it's ridiculous. Ah, OK, maybe just continue. Yeah, possibly. Well, I didn't see it, AB. I had a, a relatively good look for different things, something that looked a bit special. Um, you know, yeah, so we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, that's it, Andrew. Yeah, the random. Well, that was what the random mysterious reviews were. The mystery reviews were for basically. So I will start trying to do those as well. Yeah, so those will come back into it as well. I think so. I'll try and mix and match and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, maybe I could have done these as part of a sort of random ones. You know, just but you know, well, yeah, it's yeah. But I think that's what that's what I'll be doing, Andrew. Yeah, I think that's what I'll be doing. Difficult ones because sometimes I like to dedicate reviews to certain things so people can find them, but. If I can't review them, I can't review them. So, you know, either way, it makes no difference, does it? So, yeah. So, yeah, I think you're right, Andrew. I think that's... I need to start getting back into the mystery reviews. But it's just mixing and matching, doing a few varieties of things as well. So, yeah. I'll get there, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, so we've got to... I assume it's their equivalent of uh, Mars bars. So it's just called... It's the Mr. Chuck Caramel Bar. Perhaps not the best named one. I mean, I know, like, one's in sort of... Um, Possibly Aldi, but also like Morrison's and other things. They call them something, don't they? They have a different name. This one, they've literally just called it Caramel Bar. I guess they're not really... Um, yeah, but, well, just it's calling it for what it is, really. But Mars Bars do have more than caramel in. Do have um, nougat and um, chocolate, of course. But, uh, yeah, not too keen on this green. I mean, I quite like it. I guess they've got to not make it black or anything like that. But they have done the Snickers one, which we'll come to in a bit, brown. Um, so yeah, a bit unusual that they've done this one green, but I guess it stands out, but um, it doesn't strike you as being a Mars bar from the greenness of it. Um, well, that's an interesting one. That's interesting. I say, I don't know how many, I think there's probably six in here. Yeah, there's six bars in here. So you, I don't know if you can buy them individually. You possibly can. Um, what was the price on these ones? Um, let's see, Camel Bar. Camel Biscuit Bar? Camel Bar? I don't know if we have Camel Peanut Bars. Chocolate biscuits. Uh, well, not easy to say. Um, it could be camel biscuit, but I'm not sure. But basically, long story short, is it's probably about 55p um, for all of these, which isn't bad. That can't be right, surely. Yeah, I don't. Well, no, I well, no clue. Um, yeah, looks like it. Looks like they were that cheap. So yeah, 55 or 70 odd p anyway. But whatever, that's not bad, is it? Really, for six of them, not too bad at all. Yeah, <coughs> three sweets inside. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's one, that's one way to get rid of them, I guess. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Maybe I'll have to resort to that, yeah. <laughs> well, it's one of those things, isn't it? When, when my bars were not reviewable because they're out of date, um, you can't give them away then, can you? You know what I mean? So that's why lots of stores have to sort of just bin them all because they can't, because they're out of date. So they can't even give them away because they'll be done for it. Um, okay, yeah, so there we go. It's not too bad. So what's the uh, calories and things on these then? I think it's got a funny feel to it as well, this wrapper. I don't think you can kind of hear a difference. But it's very, um, seems to be quite a thick plastic, I guess, I don't know. Um, unusual, it's quite, it feels quite nice. It's a nice um, packaging, I must say. I, mean, I don't know whether, it, maybe it's just happy accidents, it's actually really cheap. But, um, yeah, now it, just, it has specifically got Lidl on this logo here. So it is Lidl's own brand, this Mr. Chock, clearly. So it got per 100 grams, 453 calories. Now that's pretty good, isn't it? When you can see, I mean, it might be implications of... Deficits in other quality departments, but calorie wise, that's not bad there because remember, most chocolate bars are 500 to 550 calories. Uh, 90 grams of fat, 11.3 of which is saturates. Now, per bar, 38 grams, 172 calories, 7.2 grams of fat, 4.3 of which is saturates. And it's got fair trade on it, so you know, not bad. Little.ie, little.co.uk, six servings. Yeah, so yeah, six times 30, 38 grams, so seems okay. Be quite good value for money, it seems. Good value for calories as well. Well, maybe, I'm not sure, but we'll see. <laughs> it's got a little example of what's in it there. The packaging seems pretty good. It's fair trade if you're interested in that. Fine milk chocolate. Soft candy cream or creme. Smooth caramel. So it doesn't label it as nougat. What's the official description? How does it say there? It's focusing. 40% milk chocolate with 32% candy creme and 28% caramel filling. So it's not labeled it as nougat. It's got palm fat in there as well, by the way. Palm fat, I don't know if you can, I can't see where my finger is, but there we go, palm fat. Cocoa size 27% minimum, milk size 14% minimum. Okay, yeah, I'm not too sure whether it's good or bad, I should probably know by now, but uh, there we go. So it's suitable vegetarians as well. So it's not nougat in it, so that's a, that is, it seems to be a prime difference. Um, think of that name, well, <laughs> probably took a long time, Andrew, not these places are like, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it seems okay, it seems okay. Now there's a bit of on the side, 
um, yeah, there's nothing the other, but yeah. All right, so let's uh, move down a bit, so I'll give it an open then. So I'll just move things to the side slightly. Um, yeah, let's uh, move, make sure everything's uh, okay, tidy-ish. Okay, right, so let's move down a bit. There we go. So yeah, so I'll give them an open, stuff like that. Uh, so let's move my various mats and things out of the way. Okay, so you can see, there we go, look at that, there we are, perfect. Right, um, yeah, we'll just adjust the brightness slightly. Yes, there we go. Yeah, it's a bit of an unusual one. I think, um, I think I'm quite um, optimistic so far. I've been reading really to go. But as I say, no Nougat, not labelled as Nougat. So it's made labelled as Candy Creme in the centre. So that is a difference. So we'll see how that transpires. There we go. Give these an open. Okay. There you go. So six bars. Can't really hold it too much against the little here. But we will nonetheless do it. <laughs> Got the... Uh, the flourishes, so we'll see if we can see here. So, you know, no reason for them really to include extra space, but yeah, it looks to be that you could fit in about another bar there. I think you'd say, I think that's enough for one more bar. Um, yeah, so there we go. So, flourish test, yeah, you're missing out on what is it? Uh, an extra, well, an extra six, well, you know, I don't know what an extra bar essentially. I was trying to think the percentage work up. <laughs> Yeah, so um yeah, so there we go. Um yeah, so a bit um yeah. It could fit in what's it, I don't know, fifteen percent extra or something like that. But yeah, so a bit uh bit disappointing there. I don't there's no reason for little to do that really, but I guess every company does it, but it's still a bit um I don't know. You'd think you'd think they wouldn't do that, because why why do they need to? It's a value pack as it is. So okay, so we'll take these away. Okay, look then, we'll get an individual bar. Something too dramatic, no bells and whistles on this, as you can imagine, there's not even any text, it's just got, but it's quite nice. I've seen worse, that's for sure, uh, especially in the ice cream department when you open the individual ice cream from, a, say, Magnum or anywhere, well, usually walls, actually, you usually just have a plain generic wrapper, I don't even have one specific to the bar, so this could just be, um, even some, yeah, I think Oreo ones as well, so this isn't too bad, actually, I mean, it's clearly what it is, it's not, it doesn't just say Mr, well, it doesn't say Caramel Bar or whatever, it's got the image on it, it's not bad. Yeah, I've definitely seen worse. Now, it's a tiny bar, though. <laughs> I mean, it's really tiny. Um, I don't know, I mean... Again, let's see, can I show you properly? I mean, you can... Well, easy just to measure it, really. And obviously, it's not out of the packaging yet, but you can clearly see this. there is a bit of a gap at the top. I'm missing out on a centimetre or two. Yeah. Hi, Rick, how are you doing? Good to see you. 33% <laughs> more, yes. <laughs> obviously. Yeah, no, this to God. But yeah, so it's definitely um, some, uh, yeah, some, well, you know, yeah, flourish problems, I think we'd say. Um, okay, so let's give this an open then. Why not? If we can. Okay, so yeah, it's getting smaller. It's like a, like a Russian doll, really. But um, yes, yeah, so, <laughs> it's got the same similar kind of affair going on. So yeah, if we pop this, pop this on the actual wrapper. Um, um, it's difficult because it's flattening, so we have to be careful we don't make it look worse than it is, but yeah, I think you can clearly see there. Lots of space that's wasted. <laughs> yeah, the wrapper itself is about, it's about 9, 9.3 centimetres. It's about, and with the calipers, this one in height. 7.5, pretty much. Yeah, it's just about, it's about, about 2 centimetres. we wait for this one. Yes, yeah, so how you doing, Rick? Hope you're doing okay. Now, since, well, basically, we're doing like an Aldi and uh, Aldi, a Lidl special. So these ones are sort of, they're basically their own, their sort of knockoff brands, basically. Uh, they're versions of Mars bars, three centimeters there. Um, so this one, we're doing a few of them today. Yeah, so Mars bars, Snickers, stuff like that. About 1.8 centimeters in height as well. Yeah, so there we go. I don't know if I said the width. So this is basically their equivalent of Mars bar, which is pretty much what Milky Way is in the US. Yeah, so there we go. So. Interesting, but quite small, but uh, we'll see how it tastes. Let's give it a bit of a chop as well. Um, let's see, tie tracks underneath. Feels okay, though. I'll say it does, doesn't claim to have new go in a sense. Let's give it a chop. Okay, cut a bit, bit odd there. It was a very strange noise when it cut there. Now you can see there's hardly any caramel in the top of this one either. So they're clearly scrimping on the caramel, um, which is possibly why there's not many calories in it. <laughs> yeah, so you can clearly see, I mean, you know, of course... 
I haven't got a Mars bar to hand. Maybe I should have had one as a little, but you know, it was, where do you take it? You, you'll be buying all sorts. Um, yeah, but so there we go. But you can clearly see there's not much camera at the top. It's not too runny. It looks okay. Looks all right. Yeah, Mr. Chock, yes. <laughs> Never heard of a flourish either. <laughs> yeah, see, well, that's why I always call these little uh, extras on the wrappers. Yeah, so, yeah, basically. <laughs> looks like a block of cement. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's not... I mean, basically, these cost about 55 to 70p for six of them. So, but you can clearly see, yeah, it's basically just all... It's not even NuGo. It doesn't, it's not labelled as NuGo anyway. So like, was it sweet creme or something in the middle? Yeah, soft candy creme it was called. Okay, well, you know, there's definitely reasons to believe this is a cheaper brand so far. But how does it taste? I mean, well, let's give it a go. Let's give it a taste. Let's lift, it, lift myself up. Um... Yeah, I mean, again, you know, as I say, you're paying for six of these, what you probably pay for, well, individually, of course, if you you could buy a Mars bar in a pack, and it probably cost you, a, well, I don't know how much it cost you, would it be a pound for a few of them, I'm not sure, probably about a pound for four, isn't it, Um, not too sure, actually, I must say, it can depend on the shop, can't it, and things like this, so, you know, it's hard to, to say for sure, but basically this one is probably half price for twice as many, probably, but, um, yeah, we'll see. Which things I reckon possibly, possibly, yeah, possibly. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I did. I did, Andrew. Yes. I did get some uh, white chocolate ones. Um, most of the Roth bars. Uh, let's see. Are they the ones from... I think they're the ones from Aldi, aren't they? Someone was saying they were from Aldi. I'm not sure if that was true or not, if I misunderstood. Um, um, cheaper than Asda. I don't, I don't, I'm not too sure. It is particularly cheaper, really, AB. I don't think the, I think Asda isn't quite cheap. I mean, they're much of a muchness, and if they are, it's pence. You know, you're not talking for their own brand products. Um, I think Asda definitely seems to have a bit more, you know, they have a value range and they have a better quality range. You know, I, I don't know. Yeah. I think Lidl is probably chat slightly cheaper, but you're not talking... You know, you, you're talking five to ten p cheaper. I mean, you're not talking. You know, the, the difference is a lot. Is not is is percentage wise is quite high, but actual money wise is quite low because of the the, the things are quite cheap anyway. You know what I mean? But yeah, um, that's it. Yeah, so hopefully, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna try Aldi's my next one, but as I say, I couldn't get in. He basically, it's all yeah. It's just been a nightmare. Um, but yeah. But um, so hopefully I'll get them. I've postponed it. Was meant to be Aldi this week, but I postponed it by a couple of weeks because I couldn't get there. I couldn't get there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. JD Gross. I didn't see any JD Gross's stuff though. Yeah, I didn't see any of that. I saw um, what was the company? It seemed to be Finn Carre was the one that seemed to be the one that was in uh, Lidl. I don't know if it's changed or whether this one was different. Um, all of it was seemed to be Finn Carre that I saw. Um, yeah, Mars and Bounty. <laughs> Well, that was a good point, actually. We didn't didn't have any, um, well, I saw anyway, an equivalent of a bounty bar in there. It was a cheap knockoff bounty. Um, just had, you know, so maybe that's more expensive. But yeah, yeah, well, this is it. I mean, it is the same sort of companies, sort of celebrations and things, isn't it? So, you know, yeah. But there we go. But yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I prefer bounty, I like bounty more than I used to. Let's put it that way, Rick. But yeah, it's, coconut's just, it's just the texture of it. I'm not a big fan of, really. So it gets in between my teeth and it feels like I'm eating, I don't know, I don't like the texture much, yeah, but. But yeah, I only saw um, um, this, this what was it, Thin Carre in um, in Lidl. That's the only other brand I saw. I mean, there could have been more. There was quite a lot, but I did have a good look. So no things have changed. But um, yeah, I, di I didn't see that, Andrew. I don't know. If, I don't know if my Lidl isn't, they didn't seem, they didn't seem to, I couldn't see it. Yeah. They had um, this, this Thin, this Thin Carre or whatever it was, which seems to be the only ones there. Um, yeah, I couldn't see. They could have had it. Um, but I didn't see it, and they were some of them were quite expensive compared to the others as well. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. So I'd say, I don't know if it's changed or what, but I I didn't see any. I had quite a good look. Um, yeah, as I say, Thin Carry seemed to be the the other brand they did. They had Mr. Chock, and then Thin Carry stuff. But yeah, but I don't know. Could have missed it. <laughs> um, yeah, toothpick on and yes. <laughs> well, hi Isaac. Hope you enjoyed your holiday. Did you enjoy your chips yesterday? Hope you did. <laughs> Here we go. Right, let's give this a taste then. This is their Mars bar equivalent, so a bit apprehensive, but uh, let's give it a go. Hmm. 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 When you bit into it like that, it definitely seems to have um, the camel seems to come out more because you're pushing it down, of course. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not too bad, you know. Um, the camel seems to be 
prevalent enough, to be honest with you. It seems quite soft. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't taste too bad. It's, um... It seems to be softer than a Mars bar. Um... But it definitely has the same taste, even though it's not labelled as nougat or whatever. It has that same taste, so it's artificial. Um, yeah. It's not bad. It's not too bad. As the Mars bar goes, it definitely doesn't taste any worse. Um, as I say, I mean, you know, it might be full of artificial flavours and things to make it taste like a Mars bar. I'm not too sure. As I say, it's not labelled as having nougat in it, but, um, but the replacement tastes quite similar. Um, doesn't seem to be quite as... The Mars bars I can only generally eat when they're refrigerated. I'm not a big fan of them, you know, on their own. But, um, hmm. This tastes not too bad. I think this might be even nicer than a Mars bar, I think. I mean, you know, it's not. It's definitely not worse than one. Anyway, let's put it that way. Um, yeah. As I say, Mars bars are not my favourite bar in the world, I must say. So, you know, take that with a slight caveat or a pinch of salt. But, um, yeah, um... It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. The the, the caramel's quite runny. It's quite um, you know. Mm. Mm. I think the creme sort of collapses a bit. It's quite soft, so the caramel actually is more prevalent than you think. Um, mm. Yeah. I mean, the, the quality might not be quite the same as a Mars bar, you know, based on what's in it. I mean, I can't comment on that really. It's hard for me to say. Um, but taste wise, it's not too dissimilar, really. I, I think it's just as good. Uh, mm, not too bad. Yeah, you're yeah, not too bad. Oh, hi, guys. Yes, I'm very good. No, not too bad. You're not too bad. Glad you're doing okay. <laughs> um, oh, no problem, Sharon. No problems. Yeah, glad to see you. Good you could make it. <laughs> yeah, long story short, by the way, while Sharon's here, because I know he asked about the premieres, I'm going to probably do alternate between one week doing the look back and one week doing the premiere. So every Friday I'll probably do So this week, because I know it wasn't on a Friday, but I did the look back this week. So next week I'll probably do the premiere on the Friday, then do next week, and then the week after the look back, and then keep alter alternating. So that's why there wasn't one this week. So I think just get me in the... Um, Get me going with that because it just they take a long time to do because I've got to get all the images and things. They take hours basically, you know. Um, yeah, so it takes a long time. So that's why <laughs> I had to give myself a break, really. Um, yeah, not bad this one. I mean, it's still a Mars bar at the end of the day, I'd say, which isn't great, but I'm I'm quite impressed with this one. I think, um, yeah, as Andrew says, it's quite underrated. I mean, it's not, you know. I mean, as I say, you've got to bear in mind that the quality might be different. Is what's made up of it, but the calorie wise wasn't was pretty good. Um, yeah, and it looked like there was no not much caramel, but to be honest, when I tasted it, it was it was as good as it tasted like it had enough. Um, it seems to be a, le a bit less stodgy than a Mars bar, which is better, I think. Um, I still don't think it's the best bar in the world because Mars bars I don't think are that great really for me. They're okay, but they're not great. But nonetheless, I think it's probably a three and a half out of five. Yeah, I think that's. I think as a Mars bar goes, I don't think that's worse than an actual Mars bar. I mean, I really don't. I think that's just as good. Um, I know. I mean, you know, it's cheaper, um, but it, you know, it's. I, I, it's hard to say whether I'd recommend getting over a regular Mars bar. I guess I. I guess I do because it tastes as good and it's probably cheaper. But I. I, 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 I don't know. It's hard to say because it's obviously. I wouldn't. You know. It, it depends if you're just really wanting to save money. I guess saving a few pence or not. It depends whether that's really the, the bottom line. I think is the gist of it. Whether to get these over Mars, but if you do, if you're shopping a little and Aldi anyway. Um, then you're not missing out, I don't think, um, on, on regular Mars bars. I think it's just branding, isn't it, at the end of the day, you know what I mean? You've got to, that's the problem, isn't it? You know, if you take these to school or whatever in your lunchbox, you know, the odds are the other kids will probably pick on you for having some, you know, cheaper brand, you know what I mean? And that's the problem, isn't it, unfortunately? It's the end of the day, that's the way it goes. Um, but if you're not bothered by that, and this, that, and the other, and if you're shopping little anyway i think um i don't think these are any worse than the actual mars bars and if anything they're slightly better so you know yeah not bad at all i, re I recommend those ones um still not great they'll say not the best bar in the world mars bars anyway um you know so it's probably three three and a half anyway for an actual mars bar <laughs> just trying to wipe this plate up very difficult um but um yeah i i don't think you're missing out by getting those ones is it just a bit but as i say branding is what it is if you can look past that and not let it bother you, then, yeah, you'll be all right. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so there we go. Hi, Moaning, how are you doing? Yes, um, 
Yeah, we're basically just looking at Lidl's own brand stuff today, just, well, you know, um, and various things like that. So that's the gist of it. Yeah, so we've just done the uh, the Mars bars equivalent, basically. Um, yes. Yes, mint dairy milk buttons are coming out. Yes, I've heard about those. Yes, I'm yes, yeah. But fun size, Lee, yeah, basically smaller versions of bars. So they, I mean, they're basically um, almost the same size as the normal ones now, but they're just like, they come in little packs for basically like for, for kids, essentially. They call them fun size, they're just like very small versions of them. Um, but yeah, yeah, they're sort of labelled as um, yeah party packs and stuff like that, basically. Yeah. But yeah, nice one, Moni. Yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed the mint ones will be good, AB. Fingers crossed. Yeah, looking forward to those. Looks like Shyamans as well. I mean, hopefully it will be. I mean, definitely. Uh, I liked the, um, the Cadbury's Dairy Milk Mint Crisp, whatever it was, the one they did at Christmas and things like this. The UK one, not the Australian one. Um, yeah, very nice. And the Irish one as well that they do is very nice as well. Mm. Halloween size. Yes, Rick, exactly. That's exactly it, yeah. <laughs> do have to investigate Mr. Chuck. I wonder who he is. I wonder who he is. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we've got Mr. Chock's other one now. So again, it's Lidl's own brand. It's not the best name, Mr. Chock. I mean, you know. And Peanut, Peanut and Choco, this one is. Yeah, so the other one was Caramel Bar. This one's Peanut. It's basically Snickers or Marathon, whichever you want to call it. Um, as I say, it's got that nice feel to it. I quite like the, the packaging, actually. That's, there's something about it that feels quite nice. I don't know. I quite like it. I think mean, you know, yeah, I don't know. Substantial. So this one, again, is coloured brown. So it's the same colour as um, Snickers. And um, like the one which is green. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure, it was meant to be Aldi, yeah, but basically I couldn't get in. Yeah, I couldn't get into I couldn't get in there. Um so yeah, so Aldi will probably be in a week or three. Um yeah, so we'll see if I can get there. But I might just do a couple of those. I've got Morrison's as well, so I've got a few other things to do. Um yeah, but yeah, so sorry, Sharon, but yes, yeah, so hopefully it'll be at some point soon. I've postponed it for a couple, about three weeks now, so we'll see if I can get there eventually at some point. <laughs> oh, well, it was it was little Aldi anyway. I think I spoke to someone. I picked, I picked Aldi randomly out of the two, and unfortunately I picked the wrong one. Yeah, so there we go. Eating a donut, Isaac, what's in it? What type? But yeah, another invented name, Peanuts and Choco, yes. <laughs> My ankle's not too bad, actually, Sharon. It's still hurt, it's still swollen, but I can walk on it fine, really. It kind of is a bit sore, but I can generally walk about now. I don't have to be careful anymore, really. Although, obviously, I technically do, but I don't need to in order to move. So, yeah, it's a lot better. So, thanks for asking. Thank you so much. Um, come for the chocks, stay for the packaging. Yeah, I quite like the packaging. It's going to have the same problems with your one. It's going to be the same flourish issues, same size problems. It's going to be exactly the same, I imagine. It's going to be exactly the same. So, that's, uh, yeah. Let's uh, see what it says. So, um, carry wine. Let's have a look, have a look on the back. Let's see. It's got UTZ in it, by the looks of it. I like the packaging, though. I must say, the packaging is pretty good on these products. I think they've done a good job on them, really. Um, so, there you go. Nutritional information, 2 per 100 grams. 502 calories. It's a bit higher, this one, but still on the very low end of the 500 to 550 scale that usual chocolate bars have. 20 grams of fat, 12 of which are saturates. And per 38 gram bar, 191 calories, 11 grams of fat, 4.6 of which are saturated. So, yeah, not bad. Six bars in a pack, six servings. UTZ certified. Uh, I think the other one, did the other one have cocoa? The other one has fair trade on it. This one doesn't seem to have fair trade on it. So this one's not a fair trade product, as opposed to the other ones, which were. So I don't know why that is, but there we go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's got the... Uh, Diagram there, which I quite like. I like this part of it as well. Smooth milk chocolate, softness. This one does have nougat in it. Creamy caramel, crunchy peanuts. So the one didn't label it as nougat. This one does have it in. So I don't know why there's a difference. Let's yeah, so say it is branded little. There is a little badge on it somewhere, I think. Well, it does mention little here. Anyone anyway, that URL. I don't actually have that. I remember just all the package in this one. Maybe the new ones will have fair trade on and stuff. I'm not sure. Yeah, interesting one. Yeah, caramel donuts from Limitless. Yeah, I think I, I think um, Andrew was saying they're really nice. Yeah. yeah no, no, hopefully soon, Sharon. Hopefully soon. I've just um, basically I've just got a bit of a backlog, so I'm going to do um, yeah. Hopefully soon. I've got three videos for those: two Marylands, your uh, Japanese and the orange one, and then a sort of and the Galaxy orange ones as well. I think did I release one of them already? I think I did one, didn't I? So soon is the gist of it. Hopefully this week. Fingers crossed. So much, so many. I've got a backlog of videos now as well, Sharon. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Trying to keep up with them all. It's so hard. Um, but hopefully I will do. <laughs> um, okay. 
There we go. So what else have we got here? So um, yeah, milk chocolate, thirty five percent, with caramel twenty seven percent, roasted peanuts twenty four percent, and nougat fourteen percent. So this one does actually have nougat in it, or something labelled as nougat anyway. Could have just been any one they didn't label it as nougat, but um, I don't know. I can't specifically see anything that's named nougat in this. It's got palm fat in there, so it could just be that they decided not to call it nougat, but I don't know. Um, cocoa size twenty seven percent minimum, milk size fourteen percent minimum. Obviously, it probably contains peanuts. Uh, so it's vegetarians, it says. So it doesn't have the vegetarian symbol, which you wanted. So I'm assuming this is perhaps just older packaging. Uh, maybe they've just rebranded it slightly for for this one. You know, yeah. <coughs> That's me. <coughs> That's me again. <laughs> Sneezing a bit. Okay, so yes. Right, there we go. I quite like the way the barcode's quite... I mean, look at that. The way they've uh, definitely gone to town on the barcode here. Uh, <laughs> they did that on your one as well, actually. Yeah, so not going to miss that barcode when you scan it, that's for sure. Um, right, let's just give it an open then. Yes, Sharon, I did. I went to, yesterday I went to um, B&M, and it was like a gold mine, honestly. So watch your stash watch this week, I've got tons of stuff. Tons and literally, a, well, not literally a ton, but quite a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. FIFA 49p in B&M. Yes, exactly that's where I got them from, Andrew, as well. Yeah, got them from B&M. There's all sorts in B&M. Ridiculous amounts of stuff in there. They've just got tons of new stuff. I can't recommend B&M enough for, um, for amazing cheap stuff as well and um, just non-UK chocolate, honestly. Absolutely fantastic. But yeah, basically, I got, uh, I got the, I've got them now. Um, I've got all sorts in there, honestly. Um, so yes, check out Stash Watch this week. Um, yeah, tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. Right, um, yes, yeah, so uh, right, so here we go. So let's give these an open end. So it's going to be the same problem as before. Um, just give it a slight measure before. Well, in fact, that's not bother. That's not bother. Let's just open it. Um, okay. So here we go. So, again, six of these. They have the same problem with the. Uh, you're going to be able to fit in one more bar than, than you know. Than there is basically it's about 15% more you could fit in, or whatever it is. One sixth, yeah. So you can clearly see there you could fit another bar in there. And just to prove it, there we go. <laughs> there we are. So, yes, so um, there we go. Right, so let's see, we'll move this uh, away slightly for the moment. Milky Bar Gold is as good or better than caramel milk. Milky Bar Gold. Yeah, it could be. Could be, we'll have to see. Is that, um, yeah, who knows, who knows, we have to... Well, I mean, the thing is, it's the same kind of thing, isn't it? You know, it's not going to be... I wouldn't, well, it's going to be similar, I guess, Andrew, you would have thought, you'd hope. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but we'll see. Hmm. Who knows? I think is the question, is the answer to that. But, um, yeah, certainly can't be a bad thing. But as I say, this. I mean, I don't know. To be honest with you, I the caramel flavour is what's quite dominant in those. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference what the, the white chocolate will be because it's the caramel that's the strong flavour there, to be honest with you. I don't, you don't really taste the white chocolate. So, I don't know, when I've tasted the Vidal one, for instance, and the um, Hershey one as well, I haven't particularly thought they were any worse. I mean, I've not had them side by side, but from memory, I don't, I'm, I'm quite happy having those as well as the caramel one. I don't think they're particularly worse as such, but I could be wrong. If you had them both in hand, you might think, oh, one's slightly better, but I think it's... You know, I don't know. I reckon they'll be much of a muchness, really, but who knows. Um, yeah, 3 for 49p. Yes, not bad at all, that. Is that, yeah, is that the, uh, yeah, Yorkie, Yorkie Orange? That's not bad at all, that, really. Yeah, so here we go. Same problems with these ones, same size, but the same benefits as well. I quite enjoy the, uh, quite like the wrapper. I think, as I say, I've, you know, if you've noticed some of my other reviews when I've opened some ice creams for walls or something, the inside wrappers have been terrible. Um... So some some mainstream sort of big brand big branded bars have had pretty awful um, multi pack wrappers and this one's really nice it's just got exactly the same picture on the front you know it's everything you'd want really it doesn't have any nutrition information but um, yeah hmm no I think these are quite nice quite nice so let's give it a bit of an open so yeah they've not scrimped on the packaging that is the gist of it but maybe maybe oof, I don't know I was gonna say do they have to do that I mean. I think people, it's called, you know, Mr. Choc, Peanut and Choco. I'm not sure really 
having a terrible rapper would make much difference as to whether you <laughs> were bothered about it. Or it'd probably be even better to have a, a worse rapper, really. Like, just emphasise it less. Um, but yeah, so it's got the same sort of um, different sort of topper that uh, Snickers does to their um, Mars. And it's a bit different than the Mars one, uh, their sort of caramel bar that they had. Um, move these away. This is a lot smaller... Than the wrapper. Let's see if you can see there. Well, you can't see because my thumb's in the way. But if you, if it wasn't, you could see. There we go. So you can see. I mean, I'm trying not to crush it, so it makes it look worse than it is. But you can pretty much see there that there's a good couple of centimeters missing there from it. So yeah. Hmm. Obviously, if you took them all out of the wrapper and then lined them up, it probably you might be able to fit more than one in <laughs> that's missing. But there we go. Yeah. Hershey cookie and mint, please. Yes, I've still got that in my that's in my to do list. Sham, I think. Yeah, I've got that one to do. Yeah, Milky Bar Gold. Yes, fingers crossed. Does sound a very good one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, what I'm saying is, Andrew, is that caramel's the dominant flavour, isn't it? It doesn't. You know, you don't really taste the white chocolate. So, you know, I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm not convinced there'll be that much of a difference because it's the caramel that's the kind of the flavour, isn't it? It's just that. I guess I know. Obviously, if anything, it could only be better. I guess. But I'm just thinking: Are you really going to notice the deficit in white chocolate as much because it's really the caramel flavour? You know. I mean, even like say something like McVitie's Gold or a Caramac doesn't even have white chocolate, and it tastes pretty nice, don't they? Really. You know, not too much far behind the other ones. So yeah, I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. But yeah. Definitely, get, it can only be a good thing. I think is it just a bit. So I think you, you know, yeah, it can't be worse. That's for sure. <laughs> I just don't know if it'll be. I don't know if it'll make up. It'll be that much better because it's that mil milky bar. You know what I mean? Even though their white chocolate is the best, I'm not sure whether it'll make, make that much difference. It could even, you know, work the other way around. Who knows? So we'll have to see. Yeah, maybe. But as I say, they've been in combined with them. You know, you don't know how it will work. It could, it could work better the way around. I don't think the white chocolate quality is going to make much of an. I don't think it will make much of a difference. It might flukily do it, or it might just happen to be nicer. But it could work the way around. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure is the gist of it. So I'll be interested to see. Um, as I say, like mixing another flavour with something else, it's not going to have the same. You know, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. We won't know. Exactly. That's exactly my point. <laughs> yeah. Yes, let's have a let's, let's have a see. Um right. Yeah, so about three centimetres wide, three point one, three point two almost. And height wise, about one point eight. And then we'll see what the length is. They've got a bit of a nubble at the, nubbing at the top, so I'm gonna try and uh, Avoid that, so I'm just going to sort of do it there. So it's pretty much the same size as it was, but about 7.4, 7 7.5, I think your one was. But yeah, pretty much of a muchness. Yeah. So yeah, I've got the orange yorkie, but no, I'm not, uh, I've not tried it yet. Fingers crossed, um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll get it done hopefully soon, really. Yeah, I've got so much to review, unfortunately, but yes. So yeah, it's one that's on. It's near the top of my list. Definitely near the top. I do want to try it. I'm quite sure I like that one. <laughs> I do like Yorkies anyway. And I like orange chocolate. So the the odds are high that I like that one. But um, yeah. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Oh dear. Yeah. Have you tried it? Did you like it? I'm not sure if I've seen this in the Discord chat. Whether you liked it or not. But yeah. Fingers crossed. I'm looking forward to all these different chocs, as I say. Um, you know. Let's give this a bit of a bit of a chop. Okay, so it's got the different, um, it's not too bad, you know. So let's see if we can zoom in okay. Yeah. There we go. So it's got quite a lot of peanuts in there, a bit of caramel. I like the way that the nougat is different as well. It's a lighter nougat than the, uh, well, it's, it's nougat to start with. There's the one we had before. I don't think you quite make out that it's a bit of a lighter colour, which is the case in Snickers as well. Um, it does have a lighter nougat, and I actually quite, I prefer it than the, uh, the Mars bar one. I think that looks too bad. You know, it's not too bad at all. It's got obviously the caramel looks to be more than there is because it's obviously padded out with peanuts. But um, I think as far as a Snickers bar goes, you're getting pretty much what you'd expect there. I don't think that's a problem at all. That plenty of peanuts. Got caramel in there as well and a new guy. Yeah, I don't think that's too bad. 
Yeah. Oh, God, that's good to hear, Andrew. Yeah, I mean, I was, I, I'm confident it's going to be a nice one. I am confident it's going to be a nice one. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. All the um, signs are there. You know, as I say, I like Yorkie. I like Orange. Um, you know, yeah, it's definitely up my street for sure. You know, so I'm confident I like that one as well. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so... So you do worry sometimes, because as I say, I thought Orange um, Orange Galaxy would be nice, but it wasn't very good at all. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, obviously some people might have liked it, but, you know, yeah. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm confident about Orange Yorkie. <laughs> Should do a live biscuits video? Yeah, I was thinking about doing a sham. I've done, um, well, I did do um, Family Circle Biscuits. Um, and what was the other one? Uh, what was the other one I did? I can't think what it was now. Um... Is it Victoria? I can't remember now. Yeah. Another Vitti something or other anyway. Yeah. So I did do a couple of them. But yes. Galaxy Darker Milk. Yeah. It, was, it wasn't very good that there was it? Well, I didn't like it anyway. I'm not sure if you... I don't think you liked it. I can't remember now. But it wasn't a good one. Yeah. It wasn't a good one. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Galaxy Darker Milk. Yeah. I'm trying to think, did I... Uh... I don't know if I saw it or not the other yeah, I don't know if I got something the other week. If no, I think it was um I think it was milk, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's give it a go. Well, yeah, it wasn't good, Andrew. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you liked it or not, but I am not sure. So apologies if you did, but um yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, Victoria Box, yes. So I'll probably be doing some more probably biscuit selection ones. Yeah, Sharon. Yeah, I could do it like um just a random set of biscuits, but yes, <laughs> no place for it in society. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though, it's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a very odd taste, yeah. It was just it just didn't work. I mean, you know. The thing is Galaxy as well, it's all about the sort of smooth creaminess of the choc milk chocolate, isn't it? That's what Galaxy is all about. So to to kind of not that and that's why I'm a bit troubled by their vegan bars, but I haven't tried I need to try more of them. They're on my review list as well. Um I need to do, yeah. So <laughs> I was a bit harsh there, wasn't I, in that one? Yeah, so apologies to everyone who loves that, by the way. But yeah, I think... Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you know, I was quite confident with that one that it was a derivative. And if they've, if they've discontinued it as well. I, mean, I think dark milk has definitely been a failed a failed experiment. You know, I mean, the, the orange chocolate one seems to work quite well, but dark milk just... I don't know. I've seen some people did enjoy some of them, but yeah, for me, no, no. Not, not generally anyway. I like the concept, but um, generally, I think the only one that worked quite well was the uh, the Aero ones. They were quite nice actually, you know, and especially I think they worked quite well. Um, I think just probably because of the, con the consistency of the chocolate, really. Yeah. Now let's give this a try. So quite excited about this one. Looks looks the part. So does it taste the part? Let's see. Hmm. I quite like Snickers normally. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this one, um, it's not bad actually, but um, hmm, I'm trying to think if it's as good as normal Snickers. Um, hmm, it's not many miles away. I think it tastes quite similar, but I'm not sure if it's quite as good. Hmm, I'm trying to think because often when I've had Snickers, they've been refrigerated, and um, because the, the, the sweets machine refrigerates them where I had them from, so they're quite tough and chewy. Um, Hmm. I think it's quite close, actually. I mean, hard to say, as I say, because when I've had Snickers, they've always been refrigerated. I mean, quite chewy. Obviously, this one's a bit more softer than those, so I'm not quite room. You know, it's obviously, if it was refrigerated, I'd be able to say a bit better. It does have a, seem to have a bit of a an odd taste to it that I don't think Snickers has. Um, I'm not sure if it's in the nougat or something else, but <clears throat> generally, it's pretty close, actually. Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot of peanuts in there. It's quite um. The nougat has a similar taste to the Snickers nougat. Hmm. It's not bad. It's very close. I don't think it's just quite the same. I don't think it's quite as good. I think it's slightly not quite as good as the regular Snickers, but it's very close. It's not too dissimilar at all. I think um. Hmm. That's it. Has a little sort of tarty taste to it almost and then there's something in there that's a bit it might be the caramel I'm not sure there's something I'm not sure it's the caramel because I didn't taste it in the Mars bar one but there's something in there anyway that's a bit hmm there's a bit of a strange flavour to it it seems to be on the peanuts hmm 
not as if they're coated in something or something like that. There's something a bit odd. Um, mm, yeah. Bit of an odd one. Bit of an odd one. <laughs> Hi, Sham. Yes, glad you, oh, glad you enjoyed that, Sham. Yeah, glad you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching it, by the way. Oh, very nice. I've got the lemon drizzle one to come up soon as well, so that's hopefully soon. Um, yeah. And hi, Jao, how are you doing? <laughs> Hope you're having a great day as well. Glad you could make it. Glad you could make it. Yeah, typically it's raining here today, so I'm sure it's sunny where you are, but raining here. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, good to see you, Jao. Glad you could make it. Hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully you're able to uh, relax today and haven't got any work going on. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, Andrew. Yeah, it was definitely, um, yeah. It didn't really work, did it? I don't know. It seemed an odd one, didn't it? I don't know where. Yeah, so it's like you say, like they tried to do it for some reason or another. Hmm. No, I haven't seen the orange Maltese biscuits yet, Sham. No, look, I'm looking for them, but I've not caught them yet. They're the one thing that's eluded me so far. Yeah, I think Andrew's seen them. I think. I'm not sure if he has or not, but um, but I've not seen them. No. Yeah, definitely on my list. Have you managed to find them? Yeah. So this one, um, yeah, I think it's just got a slight odd taste to the peanuts. I think that's the gist of it. I think there's a slight odd odd taste to it, like a something like a weird. I don't know. Only every now and again, though, just you get a slight. It's like as if they're covered in something odd or this. I don't know. Hmm. But they generally taste, other than that, they taste pretty much the same as the Snickers. And they are full of peanuts, and they are full, they've got the same proportions, I'd say. I don't feel, they don't feel like they're scrimping on anything. Um, and generally, even though I'm not a big peanut fan, I generally prefer peanuts to Snicker, Snickers to Mars Bar, because uh, it's just something a bit more substantial about it, and especially when it's refrigerated. I find it's quite chewy and lasts for quite some time. Um, I mean, Snickers themselves are quite small as well, so I know we've been talking about these being quite small, but they're not massively smaller than the regular Snickers, I don't think, in Mars bars. Yeah, I think this isn't too bad. Um, let's say it's got that slight odd taste to the peanuts. Mm. I think it's the peanuts. Mm. It's not always there, though. It's it's just every now and again, or once, maybe, and every bite you'll get some kind of weird taste. Mm. Mm. I'm not sure. It's hard for me to say on that, really, because it's not... That pro there's something there that's not quite the same. I can't put my finger on what it is. But nonetheless, I think they're not as good as the regular Snickers, but they're very, very close to the point where there's not much difference at all. Um, I think if you had one or the other, you'd probably go for regular Snickers in my eyes. But you were not really missing out by having this one. It's just, it's only a very small thing. Very small. Um, so yes, I think... Hmm. You know, you know, smallish anyway. I think it's still a good three and a half out of five. Yeah, I mean, it's still just as good... Almost as good as a Snickers. There's not much difference, as I say. Um, mm. I don't feel too disappointed by having it. And I think the, the quantity of ingredients and things is up there. I just think there's a slight difference to the taste in this one. And I think it's down to the peanuts. Um, which is possibly understandable, because they possibly do, do use different peanuts, or they're prepared in a slightly different way. Um, and that might be something that's a bit harder to replicate than just the chocolate and things. I don't know, but that's the impression I'm getting anyway. Um, so yeah, yeah. Hmm. Cloudy, where you are, Joe? That must be... When, when, how often does that happen? <laughs> that must be quite... Mind you, I guess it's tropical, isn't it? A bit, which presumably... Well, I know Brazil's a huge country, so it's probably different all over the place. But, um, yeah, so I guess there's quite a lot of rain in certain parts anyway. I guess they call places like the Rainforest Amazon for rainforest for nothing. But, yeah. <laughs> but of course, I know you might not live near there. Um, yes. Oh, no problem, Sham at all. No problem. <laughs> oh, it's lovely to hear your comments of these. You, you know, you do... Yeah, it's very nice. You always, um, as I say, lovely things. So, always great to hear from you. It truly is. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, it's nearly June. Well, halfway towards June, isn't it? But June before we know it. So, a June one will be coming up soon, honestly. Right, so the last one. You can probably guess what the last one is. It's not Bounty, but they're one of the other typical bars. I guess they're a version of Twix. Yes, there we go. Caramel and Biscuits. Mr. Chock. Yeah. So, <laughs> so there's five of them in this one, so there's not six like the others, there's only five in this one, so I don't know why that is, but they do, it does feel a bit bigger, they do feel longer anyway. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why, but there's the Twix equivalent, yeah. We have a chocolate like that, it's called Charge from Nestle, oh I see, hmm. So is it like, um, oh okay, so, no, so what's that then, Joe? So how does that work? Is it like uh, their own versions of the bars or something, or is it, um, yeah. These are basically knockoff brands. Well, not knockoff really, but their own their own brand versions of regular chocolates like Twix, Mars, and Snickers, which we've just done. So this is the Twix one, basically. Um, so as it looks an interesting one. Um, so I don't know if it says on your ones, but it does say serving suggestion there. <laughs> serving suggestion. So just just the bars. 
Yeah, we have a massive, massive flourish of chocolate there, so I'm not sure. <laughs> and caramel. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah, so I do computer programming, Sharm. Yeah, that's basically it. I like Snickers. Yes. Mr. Chubb was a very busy man. I think he was, Andrew. I think you're right. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, Andrew. Well, the thing is, Andrew, they're, they're replicating bars that are quite average bars anyway. So I think you're right. So to be honest with you, it's not really a disservice to them that they're not getting massively high bars. I don't think I would really rate a Mars bar a four, I don't think. I might do on a good day, maybe. But you know what I mean? So they're actually pretty good representations of the bars, really. Um, yeah. Well, yes, yeah, exactly. Sorry, Andrew, I didn't finish your sentence there. Yes, yes, you're right, exactly. The, the proper ones are replicating, they're not that great, yeah, like you say. Um, yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah, I think, um, I've, I've, you know, so they're doing a pretty good job. I'm not disappointed by it. I mean, I'm impressed by these, how close they are. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Isaac. Thank you so much. Yes, click the like button, but just make sure you hit it once or hit it three times. <laughs> An odd number of times, not even. <laughs> yeah. Twix is the best at Mars. I think you're probably right there, Abe. I do quite like um, Snick, um, Twix. It's quite mundane, but it has something about it. And it's just all the different textures, I think. So let's see, what does this one say? Yeah, what does this one say? Um, but yeah, sorry before about Andrew. I, I see what you're saying about Nestle before, by the way, Andrew, and the, um, the Milky Bar Caramel. You're right, that is the best white chocolate bar. I just felt um, it was a milky bar gold, rather. I just, I guess what I'm saying is we just, as you say, we just don't know how it'll work, if it'll, you know, really make a difference or whether it'll, for some reason, work better in other chocolates or whatever. But yeah, I do, I do not, I didn't mean to be, um, so like I was disagreeing with you there. I do know what you mean. I, I am more optimistic about that one than the others. But the other ones work so well. Um, I just think it's probably, you know, yeah, I think it's the caramel and white chocolate mix that makes it rather than the specific type of milk chocolate as well. The, White chocolate is what I was saying, but I do get what you're saying, so didn't mean to dismiss what you were saying. You know, I, I do agree with you. It's just, um, I'm just thinking it might be the, the mixture of them that makes it rather than the white chocolate. But yeah, um, Mutti's Orange Ice Cream, I have, Sham. Yes, I've done It's in the, yeah, I always say this to you, I do apologise, but it's one of the member reviews I've done. Yeah, so yes, <laughs> I have done it. <laughs> Refrigerate and Twix, yeah, refrigerate these kind of bars, Mars, Snickers, and Twix, are definitely. I mean, I don't think I've had a, a Twix refrigerated, actually, but I can believe you, AB. Because um, I think Mars and, and Snickers do taste better refrigerated, for sure. I don't think I've had a Twix refrigerated. Um, although, having said that, I've bought them from a refrigerated snack machine, so maybe I have. Um, but yeah, definitely, I think you're right there, definitely. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> exactly, Andrew. I think it's a bit of a crazy... Uh... <laughs> I know, I'm imagining that. I don't think you need to really, uh, yeah, big whoosh of caramel and nonsense coming out the back of me. <laughs> um, right, yes. Let's have a look then. So, uh, nutrition information, per 100 grams, hopefully. 505 calories, so still on the very low end, it's getting they're increasing every time, but on the low end of the 500 to 550 scale, 24 grams of fat, 14 of which are saturates, then per 58 gram bar, so they're quite... Is that right, per... Okay, that's the quite so it's quite substantial these ones actually compared to the others. Uh, Two hundred ninety-three calories, thirty point nine grams of fat, eight point one of which is saturates. Um, contains five servings. There we go, fifty-eight grams. So yeah, so they're quite substantial these ones. They're definitely bigger, but yes, yeah, so you get only five. Thirty-two percent biscuit topped with thirty-three percent caramel, coating thirty-five thirty-five percent milk chocolate. Yes, there we go. So it does add up to hundred. That if my calculations are correct. Um, which is always good. Some of them don't. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Anything else? Please check your local council for further recycling information. Super vegetarians. Um, does it have any palm oil? I can't see any palm oil. I don't think. Oh, yeah, palm fat. It's got yeah. So palm fat. Can see it there. Yeah, palm fat. <laughs> okay. Anything else of interest? Um. Trying to see if what it tells about the chocolate quality. Does it say anything? Not sure that it does. I can see anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Sham, I'm not giving out my phone number. <laughs> Honest to God. <laughs> I don't give yours out either, whatever you do. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, I think these might be quite good. Um, yes. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think these might be quite good, Andrew. I think you're probably right there. I think these definitely. I don't think you can go too far wrong with these because sure, surely the biscuit's the biscuit. So I'll, um, I'll move these further down. Let's have a look. 
Right, moving my well, these further myself further down. Um, just uh, adjust the camera. Right, there we go, hopefully. Right, just lower the darkness. Okay, there we go. Right, there we are. Right, so there we go. So, yeah, going to be flourishes again. Um, this is the last one. It's the last of the three, but there's a couple of us to do. Yeah, you tried them before, you say, Andrew. Yes. I don't think... Well, I haven't, basically. Um, but um, I'm confident that they'll be quite good. But yeah, I've got a couple more to do after these ones. Um, so it's opening quite nicely. There we go. Yeah, got a nice bit of card... Card... Uh, Leave another. Oops, thank you. The um, wrap is quite nice again. This one's got, I didn't mention it, but it's got the same texture as the other ones. I would say these ones are substantially bigger than the others as well, so you only get uh, for some reason, I guess, to keep them from breaking, which is quite good. They come in this cardboard insert. I think they'll definitely do out the packaging a little. Um, I have to say, I'm very impressed with the quality of the packaging. I mean, I know it might only be a small and cheap thing to do, but um, yeah. I think they've done a good job. Let's just see. Uh, try and fit these. Could they fit an extra one in? Bear in mind we only get five rather than six. So not too scientific, but I reckon they probably could. Yeah, so we are missing out on 20. So you could definitely fit another one in there. You can clearly see. If I take that away and add it there, and you can see that another one would fit in. Yes, there you go. Nuneaton. I've never been to Nuneaton. No sham. No, no. Yeah. I think, um, I'm trying to see if Nuneaton, Nuneaton Borough, I think. Yeah, I don't know. Is that the football team? Not sure. <laughs> Come on, please. Oh, I wish I could send you one. Yeah, pass them through the computer. Yeah, to you, Isaac. Yeah. <laughs> I think they've done pretty good. Yeah, they're not bad, are they, Andrew? You're right. They've done a good job of the pack. I mean, it's a bit harsh. Old companies do this. And of course, You've got these little flat flourishes. It's not like there's literally an empty gap. They've done this where you open it and things. So, you know, you know there's reasons sort of for it, but I'm sure it's more um, convenient, you know what I mean, for them. But not bad at all. They're you know, definitely a bit longer. And they have folded up the flourishes, like Andrew says. Yeah, so, done a good job there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm quite happy with those. I think that's quite interesting. But you can clearly see the difference in size. Here's the uh, Snickers one. Peanut and choco, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, so while you do get one less, they are substantially bigger. Um, and I think these each of these weigh, obviously, it might be slightly different, about, about 38 grams, is it from the Mars ones? Did. Um, yeah, about 38 grams these weigh, and, the, uh, <clears throat> and these ones weigh 50 odd, I think it was. 58. So they are substantially bigger. So the fact that you get, 50, you know, a fifth less, or whatever. <laughs> or you get five rather than six, however, whatever you want to say, a six less, I'm not sure what it is, but um, yeah, it's not too, too bad. Yeah, I think they, they seem to be pretty good, these. I don't know how much a Snickers weighs, I don't know if anyone wants to quickly check, but um, here you can't, I'll leave it as a surprise, Sham, but you'll see soon, you'll see soon, but um, yeah. <laughs> uh, went to the charge shop today, Isaac, what did you get? Anything nice? It's the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> Let's have a see. So we'll give it a bit of a... Um, well, I'll give it an open. Let's give it an open. Let's see, two fingers. So a Twix is two fingers, basically. Biscuits um, with a caramel top covered in milk chocolate. I don't think it can be too harsh on these ones. I think this looks... Yeah. I'm pretty happy with it. These are probably even bigger than regular Twixes now. Twixes have got so small. I feel like these might even be bigger than regular ones. Um, these are the last ones I've had, so you know these look pretty good. Eleven point seven, well, eleven point zero seven centimeters in length and width. I think these look a pretty good representation of twigs, actually. Two centimeters, almost two point one centimeters in width. And the height, about 1.3, 1.4 centimetres. Yeah, very impressed with these ones. Farm foods do good ice creams, do these, Sham. Uh, yeah, hard one to get to um, 
to um uh, to farm foods there's, there's not many of them around where i am really um i know there was one but i think it got replaced with something else some like random shop um yeah oh well if i ever do get the chance i'll have a look yes um uh, your toys do you guys look very good very good <laughs> which ones <laughs> i think you like lego so uh yes at least i assume you do anyway roblox and things like this minecraft let's give it a, bit of a cut okay hard to say for sure i don't hmm I feel like the caramel again seems to not be quite substantial in this, but um, I'll see what it's like when I eat it, but yeah. It doesn't look too, too bad, does it? It's not too bad. It seems to not quite be as caramel stuffed as a normal Twix does, but um, hmm. I don't know. could be misleading because that was the case with the Mars one. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Right, well, let's give it a, give it a taste. Let's send myself back up. Yeah, quite an interesting one. I'm quite excited about these ones. I think they also look the part. I'm not sure about the when you chop them there. Sometimes you know it doesn't seem to quite chop as well as a as a Twix does from memory. But we'll see if that's the case when we taste it. Um, yeah, it's like in hand. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, it, it it feels. It looks in hand. It looks to feel. The same as a Twix. I don't know if it if it really is, but I'm not getting the impression that it's not quite the same in hand. I mean, it might look different on the camera. Um, it feels okay. Yes. I will say Horseman Ramsey. I don't. I don't know who that is. Sham. <laughs> yeah, I thought you had Minecraft toys. Ah, ten for one pound fifty. That's not bad, Isaac. Yeah, very good. Yes. <laughs> Bring back fries pipes. I was, yeah, you not said that yet, Andrew. I was waiting for that. Yeah. <laughs> thought we might have got away with it. it. It feels in hand. It feels okay. But yeah, the, maybe the caramel might be uh, wide and thin. I'm not, well, I'm not sure actually, AB. Yeah, maybe you're right. I, I'll say I'm not had a Twix for some time now. Um, yeah, don't know. Yeah, 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 I think you're possibly right. It perhaps does look a bit. Hmm. Let's see what it tastes like. Let's have a go. Hmm. Give it a go. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this one, this one doesn't taste like a Twix. <laughs> um, it's the biscuit. The biscuit is definitely like um, a different biscuit. It's like a normal biscuit you'd get in, in say a biscuit selection. You know, like a, a one of those sort of shortcake biscuits. Hmm. It distinctly tastes like it. So it tastes like a, and then like a, a Twix biscuit doesn't taste like a normal biscuit. It tastes just like a. A Twix, you know what I mean? But this one, hmm. Hmm. The biscuit used in this has a taste of those sort of, as I say, those like short, you know, in the family circle biscuits we, we reviewed, that sort of um, shortcake biscuit or whatever. It tastes just like one of those. So it tastes like a, it tastes like a biscuit. You never get that, you know, and obviously a Twix biscuit tastes like a biscuit, but it doesn't taste like another biscuit. It just tastes like biscuit. Because this one tastes like another type of biscuit. Uh, Hmm. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I don't know, it doesn't feel right. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna say it's not I don't know. It doesn't feel like it works. It makes it taste it makes it taste more like a biscuit than a chocolate bar. Yeah. You know, and I'm not sure whether that's a good or a bad thing. It's not really what you expect from a, a chocolate bar, is it, for it to taste like a biscuit, if that makes sense. <laughs> Even if it's got biscuit in it. Um hmm. <laughs> no, I don't think I will, Andrew. No, must have bring it back. <laughs> I really hope they do. I really hope they do. Um, mm. I really hope they do bring back fries five cents because it makes perfect sense. It's such an exciting chocolate bar, you know. And I hope it's nice when they do bring it back. I hope they don't mess it up as well. I mean, I don't think they will do, but fingers crossed. That'd be really disappointing if they did after all this. Yeah, don't take after Gordon Ramsay, Sham. Yes, don't take after him. <laughs> you like little chocolate, do you, Isaac? Yeah, it's the, this one, I'm not too... I mean, this one, I think, um, it misses the bar, this one. The other two have been very similar. The Mars bar one was pretty much exactly like a Mars bar, from what I could tell. Um, the Snickers one was pretty much there. just had a bit of an odd taste to the, to the peanuts every now and again. But to be honest with you, it was pretty much as good. This one, though, this Twix one, despite the fact that being the one you'd think would be easily the one to get perfect... They've just used a different kind of a biscuit with more of a taste. They've used the wrong kind of biscuit. They've used one that, I don't know what the right kind of biscuit is, really. Um, 
But, you know, when I eat a Twix, I don't feel like the biscuit in that tastes like any other kind of biscuit. It's got a very generic taste that doesn't really remind me of any other biscuit. It just, it just has a biscuit taste. This one in here tastes specifically like a shortcake biscuit or whatever. One of those from the family circle range. Those, 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 those typical shortcake-y biscuit ones or whatever. Um... Yeah, so it, 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 and as a result, it makes you feel like it should really be in that selection rather than a chocolate bar, you know. Um, and the caramel's okay. The chocolate's not too bad. The chocolate and the caramel don't seem to taste too much different. I would say that the caramel seems to come away from the bar. Hmm. Come away from the biscuit quite easy. I don't know if that's because of the biscuits or what. Um, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think that this one's as good. I am. This one's the most disappointing one. I think just because it. I don't know whether it's a. I don't know. It's really a bad thing that it tastes like. The biscuit tastes like such a normal biscuit. I don't really know. I mean, I guess that is what biscuit is. Um. But I don't know. I don't feel like it's right. Um. Like if, for instance, I'm having digestive. What are they called? What are they called? Digestive balls. Whatever they're called. Those. Those digestive ones where they're covered in chocolate. And that tastes like digestive. I mean, that's kind of what I'm expecting, you know, from that. But from a Twix, I'm not expecting it to taste... Unless it was a Twix digestive. You know, special edition. I'm not expecting it to taste like digestive, if you know what I mean. And the, I don't really know whether it's good or bad if it did. You know, But in this case, this is basically what we're getting, except it tastes like shortcake biscuit. And for me, I'm not really... I guess I'm what I'm looking for in this one. It's sort of where it tastes like a Twix or not, I guess. is my primary thing, really. Rightly or wrongly. And it doesn't. Um... But does that matter? You know, um, I, I think it probably does really, because I think that's what you. I think that's probably what you're buying these for. I would expect that's what you're buying these for. Um, as a, well, is it? I don't know. Are you buying these as a cheap Twix alternative? Are you expecting it to taste like Twix? I think you probably are. I mean, if it's a different, why would they make it so similar if it's not? So I don't really know. I'm a sure. I think I've probably got to it. it be rating these based on how similar they are to the actual subject matter and then um, to an extent anyway because I mean clearly these are meant to be equivalents to those bars and they're aiming to be equivalents and this one doesn't quite work um <laughs> you like Gordon Ramsay do you Isaac <laughs> honestly oh it's good well it's, <laughs> I don't know if Sham likes Gordon Ramsay maybe he does um Gummy marshmallows. I think I did see those, Sham. I think I did see them. Yeah, I think I did see them. But I had to draw the line somewhere on what I've got. I've already got enough for three different parts to this, you know, three different lives, I think. So I'm going to have to be careful. <laughs> um, yeah, I think these ones, as I say, long story short, I don't know how to rate them, really. I think I've, I've kind of assuming that they should be the same as the subject matter. And this one is the most different. Um, so it's not the same as a Twix, really. It's not as nice. I don't, I don't think it's as nice. Um, I don't think if it was if it was a digestive biscuit or something a bit special, I think it'd be better. But because it's one of those shortbread biscuits, shortcake biscuits, they don't really taste that great. They're not the best ones. Um, I don't think it, yeah, it's not the right biscuit for it to taste like if it was going to taste like another biscuit. Really, it comes across as definitely tasting a bit like a knockoff Twix. Whereas the other two, you know, you you if you were blindfolded, you could probably think that they were Snickers and you know Mars. You might. And the stickers one suspects something. Well, if you're blindfolded doing a taste test, you definitely know. If you had to judge between different ones, you had the real one and two others or something, and you might struggle to name the, the real one, maybe. But with this one, you definitely could. It's just not... I don't know. Um, it's still not unpleasant, though, but it's not... Um, it's Yeah. It doesn't strike me as a quality bar. I don't think the biscuit taste is good, really. So even though... It, it, from an objective point of view as to whether it's actually a good bar or not, I don't think it's that great either. I don't think... Because that biscuit just tastes... It, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I quite like biscuits in my chocolate as well, and this one's not doing it for me, really. Um, yeah, it's just the wrong type of biscuit to taste, I think. So I think, you know, it's got some sweet... It's, it's not quite... I think it might be a bit too unfair to say a two out of five, but I think I'm going to say a two out, two and a half out of five, I think, for this one. It's just not it's just not as good. It's not the same. It's quite substantial though, you get quite a lot with it. Um Yeah, so it's one of those. Yeah. So two and a half, I think. Two and a half out of five, I think, for that one. But difficult one, difficult one. <laughs> oh well thank you guys. I'm very happy I do. Very happy I do. <laughs> very nice thing for you to say. 
Party Ring Biscuits. Um, I've, I have had them. I've not reviewed them. Um, I'd like to do them. It's one of those where, again, it's just there's so many things to review, Sharm. It's so difficult to fit it all in, really. I'm struggling as it is. But, yeah, they are, um, they are a consideration I've had for, as you say, something like a, um, a mystery review or something like that. So, yeah. They are um, possible contenders for that, but I don't have them... Um, you know, yet, but uh, yeah, they are something I wouldn't mind doing. Yeah, so uh, those three knockoff bars, I, I'm going to call them knockoffs because I think they probably are knockoffs. Well, they are knockoffs, aren't they? Let's face it. Um, not too bad, really. All in all, I think the, the Mars, the Mars one's the most accurate one. I think the Snickers one is nearly almost identical, but you can, I could taste the difference. Um, and the Twix one, I think, missed the missed the mark really, but it's because they just used a, 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 the wrong biscuit. They needed. Not to say that the one in a Twix is particularly nice as such. I don't. It doesn't really have much of a memorable taste, but it doesn't have, but it doesn't taste like a, a regular biscuit. Um, so there we go. It's one of those. Yeah, one of those. Yeah, cake bars to review. Not yet. There are some in the pipeline, um, but I've not got any as yet. No, no. So hopefully they will do at some point, Sham. Hopefully they will. Uh, yeah. So got a couple more to do. Yeah, you like party ring biscuits. Yeah, they are really nice, actually. I quite, <laughs> they're quite colourful, aren't they? They are quite interesting biscuits, actually, as far as things go. One of those where you always remember them, you know, have a fond memory of those ones. Right, so going to the Finn Carré ones now. I'm not sure how you pronounce this. Just a couple of these ones. Now, I'm reviewing these now because um, I think just to sort of... Yeah, because the other ones I've got, so there's such... I mean, should I review them now? Hmm. Yeah, I think I will. How are we doing for time? One, yeah, one out of ten minutes. Yeah, I think I've got two more to review. Um, as I said, the next one's a massive, chunky one, so we'll see. Oh, yeah, so I'll have to spit them out into other videos, I think. But yes, yeah, so we've got the milk chocolate one now, this Finn Carry one. Now, it seems to be Lidl's own brand. Now, I don't know if it's, a, you know, Andrew was saying before there was some kind of other brand that they did. I don't know if they replaced it or whether they have more than one, but you can clearly see this is a, it's not Mr. Choc chocolate anymore, but it is a Lidl brand. I don't know if they have two brands or not. I'm not sure. I must admit, I don't really be quite little enough to know. Um, so there could be another brand they have, which is even another one. But um, to me, it sounds a bit odd that they'd have another one on top, but they could have changed it. I mean, I don't know. You know. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah. So we'll see. Um, an interesting one. Yes, exactly. Yeah, Shyam, I will be doing little part two, definitely. And probably a part three as well. <laughs> Whatever I'll do next week, I'm not sure, but... Here you go, so Finn Carré, milk chocolate, fair trade. Now they did an extra milk chocolate one, but it was kind of, you'd had to buy a bigger bar and it was starting to get a bit, um, a bit pricey then, you know. The pricey, you know, labels were a bit confusing as well, actually. But this one was, uh, how much was this chocolate? <clears throat> not bad, 45p this was for this bar, so it's not too bad, is it? 100 grams. Yeah, 100 gram bar. What's the calories in it as well? Per 100 grams, so a bit more typical this one. 528 calories, so pretty much in the middle of the 500 to 550 scale. 29.7 grams of fat, 17.7 of which are saturates. Per four pieces. Yes, there we go, four pieces. What's that? About, about a sixth or something. Uh, 88 calories, five grams of fat, three of which are saturates. So I assume it's a four... Yeah, four by six maybe, three. Maybe a four by seven, so it might be a seven for that or something like that. Mm. Um, yeah, I think it's a four by seven bar. So it's per row essentially. There, you go. milk chocolate. That's what it is. <laughs> so I see hazelnut paste is in it. So that's quite common. I've noticed in the past few. I don't know if it's like um, yeah, thirty percent cocoa solids minimum. Milk solids eighteen percent minimum. Yeah, so hazelnut paste does seem to be quite common in some of these chocolates. I don't know if it's a replacement for. I don't know why, I don't know why it's in there, but it's in this one. Normally it's a replacement for milk, or something like that, but... Super vegetarians, it says. Interesting. So in a cool, dry place, away from direct sunlight. There we go. Yeah. Well, that guy has appeared again. I don't know how he keeps appearing, this guy. Bit of a nutcase, this one. Um, yeah. Let's see. What should we say? Um, yeah, we'll say... Reporting for sexually explicit material. How about that? There we go. Yeah. Okay. Right. Reported that guy. There we are. Pretty sure it's the same guy as before, really. But yeah. So I do apologise. You get some nutters sometimes on the internet. So what can you say? Right. Um. Okay. Milk chocolate. There we go. So I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll give this an open. Let's see. 
Is this the chunky bar? Well, it's the chunky. It's ooh, there's, there is chunkier bars. Um, yeah, made by the same brand. So, they, but this is um, yeah, but they were a bit more. They looked a bit more special. These ones. So these are the sort of middle ground ones, basically. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. Let us see. So it looks quite. I think they definitely do quite good wrapping on this one. You know, as I say, it's their own brand stuff. I mean, it's hard to get the branding right when it's your you know own brand stuff. Um, because at the end of the day, you know, unless you get, unless your branding as a supermarket becomes good, then I don't think your own brand stuff is going to stand out as standing quite interesting. You know what I mean? So like Aldi, for instance, became quite, um, big a few years back, didn't they, for having, you know, I think Witch said they were the best supermarket on the planet or something like that. Um, you know what I mean? So they get that prestige and their brand becomes quite good, whereas I don't think Lidl's really got that. So, you know. Yeah, your struggle, I think, <laughs> to make this sound interesting. But there we go, got a fair trade on the back. This one does have fair trade. I say, I think their branding is really quite, well, not branding, I think their packaging is really quite nice. It feels nice, it's got the same feel to it. It looks pretty good, and it's got the quality, yeah. Got, I mean, it doesn't just say UTZ, it actually has all this information about it. It's got this picture on it. You know, they've. They, I think their packaging is really pretty good for their stuff at Lidl. And the quality of the cocoa for this part is sourced. Traded and audited at, as, fair, at, as fair trade, ensuring cocoa producers receive fair trade terms. It may be mixed with non-certified cocoa, um, uh, so that the total matches the amount sourced at fair trade. That's bad. Yeah, so what's that? Now that's one of those dodgy things. that I'm, Now, I'm, I'm not I'm no expert on this one. I could be reading this wrong, but do you remember a few times, if you've seen my reviews, I've said there's some of these things where they say it's sustainably sourced and all this nonsense. So, well, say it's nonsense. Well, all this stuff. Um, sometimes I've said what they do is they basically just buy a load of stuff from a, a fair trade source or some sustainable source um, to in the same quantities as the stuff they use in the actual chocolate. Now, from what I'm reading here, this seems to suggest to me that they're using... X amount of non-fair trade stuff, but still buying X amount of fair trade stuff to make up for it. So is that a waste? Now, I don't know if I could be misinterpreting that, but it says it may be mixed with non-certified cocoa so that the total matches the amount sourced as fair trade mass balanced. So that to me tells me that they buy so much fair trade stuff, but only use so much of it. And the stuff that they don't use, um, where does that go? So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, very odd. Very strange, that one. Very strange. Yeah, so I'm not sure what to make of it, really. Very odd. Yeah, very strange. But, yeah, we got, um, got another nut, nutter guy appearing again. Yeah, seems a bit odd, that, doesn't it? There we go. Okay. There we are. Yes. Do you have Andy of Lidl mint chocolate? I don't know what that is, Cheyenne. Never heard of that before. Yeah. Hmm, never heard of that before. Yeah, so I might need to uh, perhaps, perhaps appoint one of you as a, a moderator at some point. So, Because uh, obviously if I'm not noticing when a nutter appears in the channel, um, obviously, yeah, unfortunately, the messages will appear a bit longer than they should do. I tried hiding that person, but I don't know if he came back as the same account. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, the thing is, you know, as I said before the other day, um, I think on the stash watch or something like that, Having been a user of the internet since it kind of, not came out, but, you know, since it took off back in the late 90s, uh, I've seen it all, basically. There was no moderation available at all um, back in the early days, you know, so we're quite lucky these days that you do have the ability to um, to prevent things, you know. Um, but back in the day, you just couldn't, so you were just exposed to all sorts, you know. If there, were, if there was people wanting to be pains back in the day and saying strange things, um, they could they could just do it, and there was nothing to stop them. You know, um, there's nothing really. You just you just could do what you want. You know what I mean? So yeah. So so basically, things like this don't phase me really anymore. You know, because I've seen it all and been there and done that. But I do apologize. I realize that a lot of people these days, especially younger people like Sham and you know and Isaac, perhaps don't really aren't used to sort of unfiltered nonsense that the internet can throw your way. So yeah. Um, so I do apologize for it. It's not much. You know, you can't. I can't avoid nutters unfortunately. But this is it. It's one of these, yeah. So sometimes you just got to, uh, yeah. It's what what can you do? What can you do? But yeah. So as I say, maybe in the future, yeah. Now it's the channel's growing a bit. I might, um, you know, some of some of the regulars, perhaps, I might, um, you know, have to sort of see if you'd want to be moderators or whatnot. 
thinking maybe Scotty or Andrew perhaps, because I know you're quite prevalent in the channel and things. I know you're quite frequent, so maybe and obviously in Discord as well. Um, yeah, so maybe as I say, let me know if you fancy that job, because I say I could do with uh, yeah. You see what I mean? You keep getting people like this just keeping appearing, you know. So it's one of those where you just do it. It's just clear the same person, but um, yeah. So there's nothing you can do about it, unfortunately, other than just keep blocking them. But if they keep joining, what can you do? Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. So as I say, so Andrew, perhaps, yeah, perhaps you and Scotty, I'll perhaps see if I can make you towards moderators, because I know you're quite frequent people on the channel and appear quite frequently, and in the Discord chat as well. So I need people who are consistently here. Um, I know AB as well, perhaps, but I know you're busy sometimes um, and not quite as here as often. Um, but yeah, so Andrew, yeah, and obviously Scotty was about, but I know Scotty has trouble in the live chats. Um, but if you're up for that, that'd be quite, that'd be quite useful and quite helpful, really. As I say, you know, you got to be, you got to be careful. You can't just, um, you know, delete everyone's messages. But if there's someone just keeping appearing, just saying stupid things, you know, then yeah, it might be useful to have someone that can be at hand to get rid of them as they appear if I don't notice them, whatever. Um, because you know, yeah, because got people that you know, see, you know, you don't want, you just want it to be a friendly channel, don't we? Really, we don't want to have idiots ruining it for everyone. So yeah, but there we go. Right, let's give this an open then. Right. So there we go. Okay, so it looks quite nice actually. Look at this. Again, I think that looks quite a nice looking chocolate bar, you know. It's got the branding on as well. They've made an effort as well. I know the branding's the branding, you know what I mean? But I think it looks quite nice. It smells quite nice. It's a nice sort of, um, yeah. I don't know. It's got quite a nice smell to it as well. As I say, it's a five by six bar. I think I guessed at five by seven before, but five by six, clearly. Um, yeah, so there we go. Not too bad at all. Hi, Pop Music, how are you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. Hope you're doing okay. <laughs> What's on the playlist today? Um, yeah, so, yeah, all right, so there we go. Not too bad. Um, I think that looks quite nice. Just to give it a bit of a measure. Let's see. Right. There we go. Right, so it's a bit difficult to is it just too long? It's just too long for the for the calipers here, so we'll have to uh give it a measure with the ruler. Oh good to hear oh, glad you're okay, Pop. Glad you're okay. <laughs> yeah, we're just basically reviewing chocolate from Lidl. We're not reviewing Lidl itself. Uh, this is some of their own brand milk chocolates. Now, Andrew before one of the other um, contributors was saying that um there's another uh well basically this one's thin carry is the gist of it. Now, I don't know if there's another brand that they do for chocolate, whether they replaced it or not, but the gist of it is, um, I could only see Finn Carey, so I don't know if they've just done a rebrand of their branding or whatever for their own chocolates, but this is, I, I assume, a premium, more premium brand than their Mr. Choc range that they do. <laughs> but I don't know how premium. Yeah. So there we go. So 15 and a half centimetres. There we are, 15 and a half centimetres. And then the width... That sausage rolls. Oh, don't worry, Sham. Yeah, you get some nutters on the internet, but don't worry about it. We got rid of them. If they keep coming back, you know, we'll just have to keep getting rid of them, I guess. But, you know, yeah, don't worry about it. There are nutters. But they're just trying to be a pain, so don't let them don't let them frustrate you, honestly. 7.63 centimetres in diameter. Hi, sausage rolls. How are you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Good to see you again. Glad you could make it back. <laughs> yeah, and this one in height. About, about eight millimetres. I've just uh, corrupted it there. I'm good, thank you. Yeah, you, how are you doing? About 7.7 .7 it is. All right, so let's give this a taste then. I'm quite excited this one. It smells nice, looks nice. Let's uh, lift myself up and taste it. <laughs> yeah, glad you could make it back. So I think pop music is what you've been in before as well, haven't you? So glad you're making it back. It's good to see you. It's always a shame when people only join once and then don't come back, you know. It's glad when people do come back, though. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I've had a couple of, well, I think it's the same nutter coming a couple of times, but one of those isn't it, you know. Some people just like to uh, cause disruption, but yeah. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> right, okay. It's more premium, yeah, I think you're right there. I think you're right there, Andrew. It does sound that way, doesn't it? It does sound that way. <laughs> okay, let's give these both a taste. I'll give, uh, you know, one cube a taste. Let's give it a full section. 
Yeah, I did see you that JD Grey. I'll need to look out for that, Andrew. Yeah, I, mean, I must have just completely missed that. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad chocolate, actually. It's, um... It definitely has a bit of a... It's got a huge little paste in it, and, you know, if I didn't know that, I might not be able to pick it up, but I feel like there is, there's definitely something that does taste a bit hazelnutty in it. Um, or hazelnut pasty, if that makes sense. Hmm. Because it's not tasting... It has a bit of a sort of praline taste to it. Hmm. I've no idea why that's in here, but it's definitely there. Hmm. It's okay. But having a sort of like a slight hazelnut tint to it is not what you'd expect from chocolate at all. I've no idea why it's in there. Hmm. Other than that, though, it's not bad. It's like a very. It's like a relatively sort of high. creaminess milk chocolate, basically. But as I say, tinted with that. Odd taste to it. Hmm. So, yeah, a bit of an odd one there. Hi, Jerry. How are you doing? <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Kobayashi Maru, is it? Yes, not sure how you pronounce that, but there we go. <laughs> so, you're a fan of Naruto, are you? Possibly. <laughs> mm. Not bad, then. Mm. Yeah, not bad, not bad, but it's got, it just has a weird taste to it for no reason. I said they've just for some reason put this hazelnut paste in it, and I'm not sure why they've done that. And it's, I've noticed it in some other things, but generally not something that's not pertaining to peace. Well, you know, as I say, be a vegan version of a chocolate or something like that. Um, hmm. So I don't know. Not sure. I don't. I think it does affect the taste, and I don't think you could. Is any, I don't think you could really say it's an average milk chocolate. This one, because I would say if it has that funny taste to it, that's not what you want from milk chocolate. It's not too bad though. Um. One more after this one, Andrew. One more. One more. <laughs> I think for this one, yeah, probably... I don't think I can give it an average milk chocolate rating because it's got that funny taste to it. You know, it's a real shame because I think other than that, it would be quite a nice, decent chocolate. It looks good. Um, you know, I think it seems pretty good, really, but... Mm, yeah. I think for me, it's, I've got to be, it's got to be a 2 out of 5, I think. I think it's got to be a 2 out of 5. It's just a shame. It's not too bad a taste, but it's just got that funny non-milk chocolate taste to it that shouldn't be there. Um, so, it's a shame that. Other than that, though, it's not too bad. I just don't know why they've done that. So, maybe as Andrew says, if they had this other version, this other more premium brand, maybe it would that wouldn't have it. But, but why it's there anyway, I don't know. Just don't have it in there. You know what I mean? If you didn't have it there, then it would be fine, I think. Um... <laughs> Shouldn't read it, yeah. Well, it definitely has a funny taste to it, Andrew. I mean, I'd like to think I would have said it was something odd, and I don't know if I would have. I don't know, it's hard for me to say, oh, yeah, I definitely would have said it tasted like hazelnut, but there's definitely an odd taste to it. Um, you know, but yeah, as you say, obviously, once you know, you know, don't you? Or you're looking for it, maybe. Um, yeah. Oh, hi. Thank you, shopping or shopping. <laughs> very nice for you to say. Thank you so much. Oh, it's very nice of you. Thank you so much. Lovely to hear that. Glad you enjoy the channel. Um, you might be, you might be onto something, Andrew, there. You might be onto something. <laughs> I do like Indian food. Yeah, sure, it's not bad at all. Yeah. I don't know whether it's authentic Indian food, I don't know. You know what I mean? But I do like it. Um, but yes, I think Andrew possibly guessed correctly. Dark chocolate. <laughs> it's basically the same thing, but dark chocolate, you would say. I mean, obviously, you know, to an extent. It's got the same nice sort of package on the back. I think he did, um... Now, the bigger ones I've got are white chocolate ones, but they're not these thin ones, so I'll save them for the next the next edition, essentially. Um, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, so fair trade, says the same things. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad, 100. Yes, how is the subscriber count going? <laughs> Hope you're doing okay. Yeah, 100 grams. There we go, not too bad at all. Yeah, so let's see. Um, per 100 grams, found 23 calories. So again, roughly in the middle, a bit less this time. 31.8 grams of fat, 19.1 of which are saturates. Per four pieces, 16.7 grams. 87 calories, 5.3 grams of fat, 3.2 of which are saturates. Okay, yeah, dark chocolate's called, it says there. That's the description. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, anything else in it? Vanilla flavouring. It's got vanilla flavouring in it, which is... Again, we should, probably shouldn't have done this, Andrew, but we have done. Cocoa size, 50% minimum. So it's quite low percentage dark chocolate, but that's not bad. I don't mind that. I'd say vanilla flavouring, though. Um, bit of a difficult one. Yeah, let's see. Super vegetarians, it says. 
Now, maybe it doesn't taste vanilla like. I don't think you'd want dark chocolate to taste vanilla, so I don't know why they put vanilla flavouring in it. Um, but I can't see anything else. There doesn't seem to be any palm oil or anything like that. It's, the ingredients are quite low. Don't know if the palm oil generally is in dark chocolate. But yeah, vanilla flavouring, so something to look out for there. Yeah, I know, Andrew, what can I say? <laughs> Oh dear, but you know, we, you know, well, what can I say? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to do about that really, because obviously you need to check what's in it. Um, I'm not, yeah, I don't know, I'm not really, not, well, should I be trying to prove I can taste what's in it and things like that? I don't know, not sure really. Um, but yeah, okay, let's give it an open then. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Could be a four by six bar again. Hello Blackpool, how are you doing? You like Blackpool, do you? We think we're talking about Blackpool the other day. Uh, weren't we? Yeah, being the Discord chat, a bit of a strange uh, coincidence. So someone, were we talking about Blackpool? I can't remember now. Yeah, <laughs> we were, yes. <laughs> okay. Right. A bit of flourishes on this one. We didn't quite measure the flourishes before. Yeah, quite a nice wrapper. I think red is the colour of dark chocolate, generally. It's possibly because of Bourneville. Okay, so it's going to be four by six again. It's got that nice look to it. It feels nice. It's got a nice silky dark chocolate smell, a smoothness to it. Mm, it has a bit of a dark chocolate smell, but mm, it's not as nice as a Bourneville smell. It tastes a bit sort of, I don't know, it smells a bit, a bit different, not quite as pleasant, but it's not a bad dark chocolate smell, but it's not the best one of smells. Um, yeah, you can see it's like a slightly light brownness to it. Okay, well, I'll give it a bit of a measure, but we've, uh, it'll be the same as the other one, but we'll measure it all the same. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay, 7.6 centimetres in diameter. In height, that's 7.9. It went up to 8.1 there, I think, because I moved it slightly. Hmm, it's changing that, and that's not. <laughs> It's about 7.7 .7 there, you can just about see. 7.9, 7.7 7 to 8, I think, is just a bit, but about 7.8, I think. Okay, and the calipers aren't going to be as uh, as long. <laughs> it's not bad, bus stop, not bad. How are you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Good to see you, good to see you. 18.5 centimetres, there we go. Nah, uh, no worries, Sharon, no worries. You, you're able to do it to the, on Fridays, though, aren't you? I've seen on the Friday ones, I think. But yeah, don't worry, Sharon, it's one of those, isn't it? But at least you can catch up at the weekend, so I'm good to hear that, at least. I'm glad to hear about that. Um, okay, a right. bit of a snap, have a look at it. They're quite solid. It does feel quite dry, for sure. There's definitely a bit more of a dryness to it in this one. Okay, let's uh, lift up. Yeah, what we're doing later, Sharon. Yeah, I'm not sure, just be having a bit of a relax, I think. If I catch up with a bit of comments on the YouTube channel and uh, stuff like that. Um, yeah, just have a bit of a relax, I think, now. Yeah, what will you be up to? Anything nice? Okay, let's go. Right. Give this a taste then. So, <laughs> unfortunately, we might be looking for a vanilla flavouring, but we'll try to assume we're not going to taste it. But let's give it a go. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad, you know. I don't think I can taste any vanilla. Um, it just tastes of, um, yeah, it's not a bad dark chocolate. It's not massively different than Bourneville or something like that. Uh, hmm. You love chocolate. <laughs> You're in the right place. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I think we all do. <laughs> Good to see you, chocolate. Good to see you. Hmm. It's not bad on this one. Unfortunately, you just come to the end of it, um, chocolate. So, yeah. <laughs> do apologize for that, but there we go. <laughs> Coffee and tea, nice biscuits. I do, Sharon, yes, that's very nice. Mmm, I do. Ah, oh, dear. But yeah. Yeah, nice, uh, nice cup of tea is always lovely. This is not bad, actually, this one. It just, it doesn't, i say, it's got vanilla flavouring in it, but I can't taste that at all. I was a bit worried I might start to, you know, taste it, but I can't. Um, so I guess it's working. Um, mmm, it's not bad. It just tastes like one, though, really. Uh, it's just like nice... Quite rich dark chocolate, but not too rich, not too dry. Um, mm, yeah. It's definitely um, 
a sort of sweetness to it. It's not quite as, as I say, bitter as other dark chocolates. Again, whether that's the vanilla flavour, I don't know. You know, I'm not sure. But it doesn't taste... I can't really taste vanilla in it anyway. Um, so, you know, it's not been tainted by that. Like the other one was tainted a bit with a strange praline taste. But it's not too bad. Um, I don't think it's like the best dark chocolates ever, but it's not the worst for sure. It's, um, it works pretty well. I think it's a good... Um, As dark chocolate goes, it's not bad. I don't think I can kind of give it too um, bad a rating. I think maybe a three and a half, maybe a four. Uh, I think a four might be too high, just because I don't think it's that explosive. But it's not bad. I think it's a good three and a half out of five, that one. Yeah, I enjoyed that. A bad dark chocolate. Mm. Not a bad dark chocolate. Not a bad one. Um, I don't know if it's as... Better than Bourneville, and I've say Bourneville's got a bit more substance to it. The ch chunks are a bit bigger and things, but it definitely didn't seem to. It didn't strike me as being worse than it. if I'd have had it without knowing it was a cheaper brand. I would have said, yeah, it's not bad at all. That yeah, um, yeah, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So there we go. So there we are. It's one of those, isn't it? So I think we've. Let's see. Yeah, I can use it from the channel. There we go. There we go. Right, there we are. Right, well, I think we've reached the end of it there, really. Not too bad a one. Not too bad a one. Hope you all enjoyed that. I think it's been a bit, a bit, not bad that one. I think it's probably what we expected. I don't think we were, we would have been very surprised if the world was set to light by Lidl's offerings to the chocolate community. I think, um, you know, but all the same, not too bad. I actually quite enjoyed it. I think it was. Quite nice to see those. I don't know if I'd ever... I don't feel like I feel the need to go back to them again. Um, it's one of those, really. Bonneville's 36%. Yeah, 50%. Yeah. Bonneville, yeah. I, did, I, it, I mean, I think you... Yeah, I think you're right there, Andrew. This one did have a bit more. Um, it didn't seem to taste much different, though. I don't know. As I say, it could have been... It didn't come across as being any um, less tasty than Bourneville, though. Bourneville seemed to taste a bit more... It tasted about the same, really. I didn't get the impression it was different. Now, I don't know if that's, you know, dark magic with all this vanilla extract added in. I don't know. Um, but it didn't taste um, worse than it. You know, it tasted not too bad. Um, I think... Um, well, it didn't taste richer than it. it Bourne, you know, I think Bourneville's probably just got a bit more... The chunks are a bit bigger and things like this. But it tastes... I wouldn't have said it tasted different than Bourneville. So yeah, the fact that the um, the chocolate percentage is different, yeah, I don't know. It didn't it didn't seem to come across that way, which is good or bad. I don't I don't really know. That's a good or a bad thing. Um, I feel like one of us has got more to it because the chunks are bigger. This one, the, the it's just a bit too thin, really. But all in all, it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah. Well, as I say, I've got the more chunky bars. They've got some more chunky ones later. Um, you know, and as I say, some of them were and specifically, um, yeah. As I say, this, sort of this big chunky one. But as I say, I don't know. Let's have a look, Andrew. Have a check to see if they still do this um, JD Gross one. Because, as I say, the, the chunky ones that they had, I have got some for the next time. Um, and they're not labelled as JD Gross even then. So I really didn't see them. As I say, it could just be my store doesn't do them. But I don't know whether they've rebranded again. I mean, when did you last go in, Andrew? Was it recently? As I say, I, I didn't, I, di I really didn't, I really looked for the different, you know, for different types of chocolate that they did. Um, I mean, I could have just missed it, you know, I mean, I, I don't deny it, but I did have a proper look. I went around the whole store. Um, it, was, it could just be the one I was in, just isn't the same as the one you see. But, um, yeah. Cabby's missing the attention. Yes, I know, not sponsored this week. Yeah, <laughs> Cabby needs to <laughs> up the money to me. Yeah, that's what they need to do. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Well, this is it, yeah. Well, as I say, I did, I've got some other things. Um, but there wasn't, I, would, I have to must say, Andrew, there wasn't much there. Um, as I say, the one I did get, um, this one is one, that, this is the, let's see. Um, <clears throat> I got this one here, as I say, another thin carry. But this will, I'll review this next time. White chocolate with strawberry crisp. You know, it's a thicker bar, it's much thicker. You know, much thicker than the other ones. It's in cardboard. Um, I'll say, this is the, this was the sort of the, I wouldn't say the other brand, but it was the other range they had in this sort of bigger, chunkier thing. But as I say, it's still branded Finn Carrot. It's not branded this JD Gross or whatever. So that's, that's that. So I don't, you know, there was no other. There just wasn't any others there. 
I think he had a couple of others like this, but there wasn't this this was the most exciting one I saw. Um I did buy another couple, but they were all quite normal. Um Yeah, they just didn't have anything that exciting that I saw, you know, yeah. So I don't know. So I'm not sure that yeah, go back in yourself, Andrew, and have a look. See if they still do these these different ranges or whether they've cut them back. Because as I say, when I went in, um I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't see that much. There wasn't that much more that caught my eye, basically. Um, yeah. But yes, little sponsor's video. Yes. <laughs> they need to pay me more, Sharon. They need to pay me more. But yeah, honestly, maybe you'll enjoy that. Something a bit different. Yeah, something a bit different. As I say, um, you know, let me know. Um, if any of you fancy being sort of, um, as I say, admins for the for the channel, or whatever. You know, just so you can keep a track on um, any nutters that come in. It'd be quite difficult, as I say, it's hard for me to keep a track of it and, you know, do the stuff as well, especially when there's going to be more and more messages as time goes on. So, you know, preferably people who are re frequent, um, frequently use the channel or whatever. Um, yeah, obviously, you've, you've, you know, no offence to you, Isaac and Sharon, but I think I need to probably an adult to do it as well. I can't be expecting <laughs> Yeah, so you know what I mean. So there we go. Um, but yeah, so there we are. So yeah, I guess, you know, I say, Rick, Andrew, I know you're an AB. I know you're here quite frequently. So if you do fancy that responsibility, perhaps we can work something out, something like that. But as I say, it's just something, you know, um, there's no obligation or whatever, but there we go. <laughs> oh, no, of course not, Sham. No, it's just one of those people just say stupid things, you know, so don't worry about it. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, honestly. <laughs> but yes, it's one of those where, unfortunately, as I say, the internet's just full of nutters. You know, what can you do? It's just one of those. <laughs> so they probably think that we're not us. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. As I say, I'll do a part two at some point. I don't know if I'll do it next week or not. We'll see. Then I might try and mix it up a bit. I don't know. Andrew, if you could have a look at... Um, yeah, if you could have a look um, for, yeah, as I say, Lidl as well. Let me know if you can spot them. Because um, maybe I just can't see them for looking. I don't know. But um, Or if they're still around. So if they are, I'll see what I can do. But as I say, I really had a good look and I couldn't see anything. Um did do other things like sweets and stuff like that, but um, yeah, one of those. Yeah, Rick Sharon was just talking about the uh, the nutters we had before. You know, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if you really... Well, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but no, we weren't... I don't think we were scared. <laughs> but yeah, honestly. Oh, fingers crossed, yeah, and fingers crossed. Yeah, Rick, hope you're doing all right, Bob. Good to see you again, by the way. Sorry I didn't chat too much this time. Um, but yeah, hope you're doing all right. Hope Canada's doing well. I will be looking into some Canada stuff as well. I know you, um, as I say, you did uh, contribute to the channel as well, so I might try and put that money towards some Canadian goods. I just don't want to get too much at the same time because I've got so much at the moment, it's ridiculous. But um, I would like to review some Canadian products. So perhaps that's where that uh, contribution will go to. So yeah, so watch this space, I guess. But um, as I say, I've just got such a backlog to get through at the moment. I think I need to try and do that. But I, I, it's, a never, it's, a, it's one of the self-filling walls. Well, you know, it's, not, it's a bucket that never empties or whatever the expression, I can't remember what the expression is now, but there we go. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Rick, exactly. That's it. You know, this is it. Well, unfortunately, as I say, I've, it's probably some kids somewhere. But the thing is, these days, you know, like I, I'm not sure how old you are, Rick. But um, as I say, like I was saying before to you, you know, um, I experienced the internet when there was no <laughs> there was no restriction on anything that people could say. <laughs> so the things I've seen and experienced, you know, I, I think, um, yeah, you know, and just people generally just being horrible. You know, there you go. It's one of those. <laughs> not too bad, Sham, not too bad, Hash Brown, yes. <laughs> yeah, white chocolate strawberries one you love. Is that was that was that branded then? Andrew, with this um, JD Gross or whatever, when you got it. You know, is that have they literally just removed that branding or that thing? Yeah. I don't know, because that's the only sort of that was the sort of more higher end bars that I saw, and they were those kind of ones, so yeah. Yeah, but it does look good. I'm excited for it. <laughs> Honestly. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Oh, well, I'd like to do it, Rick. And let's say some of those... Yeah, I think we were talking about, weren't we, some of the... That was what we were talking about, weren't we, as well, specifically. That was the Giardelli Caramel Squares as well. They're the ones I need to get. So, yeah, definitely need to look out for those. <laughs> yeah, those are the ones I was specifically... Yeah, I remember we were talking about them. I need to definitely get those as well. Very excited for those. But, yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, well, thanks so much for all, say, all your support and everything. It's really nice to hear from you all. Hope you're doing okay. Hope you all have a great weekend. Um, yeah, let me know how you get on, Andrew. Yeah, Sham, yes, um, yes, I do have some yeah, relatives, Sham. Yeah, I forgot to say, sorry about that, but yes. <laughs> oh, you too, Joe, as well. Yes, and perhaps, as I say, if you're a frequenter of being a moderator as well, perhaps I could ask you as well. Um, 
I say, he's got, you've got to be wanting to do it though, so, you know, one of those. <laughs> but yeah, let me know, Andrew, as I say, if you, if you ever go back into it, let me know if it's changed or not. But um, uh, right, maybe they have, maybe they've changed things, Andrew, then, because as I say, I, was, I, I really didn't see any other branding, but as I say, I don't know. You know, I could have just missed it. I, I do admit that. So, yeah, be great if you could, um, if you do go back in, let me know if it's, if it's changed or whatever. Um, but yeah, but I didn't see that much there, you know, I have to say. But again, I could have just missed it. <laughs> um, yeah, well, great stuff. Thanks, guys. As I said, there's about a six second or seven second delay. So I might have gone by the time you type in something. So I do apologize. But have a lovely weekend. Enjoy it. And then um, hopefully I'll see you on Stash Watch on Wednesday. Um, and hopefully there'll be a, there should be a premiere on Friday as well. So hopefully I'll see you there. <laughs> Take care, Isaac. Have a great day. Enjoy your holiday. And I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye for now, fun. Take care. Bye. Oh, yeah, sorry, Rick. Yeah, just caught your comment just for a while. Yeah, I know they're not Canadian, yes. I just remember there was one specific thing I wanted to get. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know they're not Canadian. I know they're not, yeah. But, yeah, I just remember we were talking about something I needed to import, and um, I know it's not Canadian, but, yeah, that's something I would like to sort of get as well. <laughs> All right, then, guys, take care. I really am going this time. <laughs> Bye for now. See ya. <laughs>